What's poppin' y'all? Welcome to the Harambe Bay Festival. Let's get into this event. I absolutely had fun and enjoyed myself, y'all. It's a historical event that happens annually every year for um, Black History Month, February. Um, so this year's theme was inspiring unity in the community, which captures the true essence of Florida A&M University. Look at my girl, Victoria. Yes, she's coming on this journey with me today as we get more in depth into what this is but first let's listen to the kids okay need for equal rights by influential words and legal action to build the abolitionist and women's rights movement okay y'all so i'm so glad that we are back you know we had to stop for the kids so as we're going throughout this video i'm going to kind of give y'all a little bit of the history on what the Harambe festival is how it originated where it comes from and what it features so first, as you guys see, we are over here at the first booth. Look at all this. We got the Harlem Renaissance shirts right there. My boy, Eddie Murphy, period. Don't play with him. Look at this, y'all. This is so gorgeous. They have like the little tummy beads you can put around your stomach. I forgot what they're called. We're doing interviews. That was good, y'all. That, 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 that lotion smelled good. But look at this. The bonnets. Like, who don't want a good bonnet? So, here, up oh, another interview, period. So now let's get on to the real history of the Harambe. So, y'all, first of all, the admission for this event was 100% free. F-R-E-E-E. -E -E. Let me stop. F-R-E-E-E-E-E. -E 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 -E. <laughs> free, 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 free. And it actually featured fun entertainment, performances, culture, art, spoken work, fashion designers, y'all. And the fashion designers were designing. It was, it was given. The vendors, the food was good, y'all. Music, health, and culture awareness in celebration of our shared history. So, y'all, let's get into what is Harambe. Like, how did it originate, right? Look at these bags. These are gorgeous. Well, the action or fact of working together, a spirit of civic unity or cooperation among Kenyans. Originally as a slogan and rallying cry used by Homo Kenyatta, Kenya's first president who served 1964 through 1978, y'all, which was also adopted as the country's official motto, period. This girl right here, I have to stop it because she did her thing. She made all of this hand scratch. Let's listen to what she has to say. Okay. And, uh, uh, art has always been my escape though. Now, when it comes to the resin though, I only started at two years ago. Okay. I'm also a 911 dispatcher. Okay. So just imagine the things that we have to hear. Yeah, you escape. This is my escape. Okay, y'all. So as y'all listen to my girl, she says she uses this art as her escape. And I think that's so cool because a lot of people like we we need something as an escape we need to like escape reality for a moment so y'all i just had to give her her kudos now we are moving on to my favorite part of the event cultured art now let me tell y'all a little bit about the history of this art because i had a chance to talk to the guy who was selling this art and y'all tell me why this art was a hundred percent from nigeria he had all of this transported down from nigeria and i thought it was so cool because if you see the different art pictures, look, just look at it. Look at it. It's gorgeous, right? Look, oh, that was the one, y'all. We got Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Nipsey Hussle, Muhammad Ali. Look at me talking to the man like, yes, trying to get a discount. Y'all already know. But look, it's just, I love it because art really does tell a story. Like, a picture really is worth a thousand words, y'all. And listen, whoever these, these artists are, they did their thing. I could not stop looking at them. Like, I'm like, I have to get all of the art. I want to capture all of the art because all of the art is the best art because it's from Nigeria, period. So, yeah, let's just continue on with the video. As you guys see, that that painting was real deep. Look at me just talking. Here we go. Look, y'all, we, we got some more art. Look at this. It just doesn't stop. It doesn't stop. It doesn't stop, period. Look at it. And it tells so much deep stories with it being Black History Month, y'all. And I just love this. Cause the point of this event is also, y'all, to grow the community. It's, 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 it's meant to heal our community as well, educate us, and just honestly create it to inspire us to keep going, y'all. We have come a long ways. Look at this. This right here, I love all of these shirts. HBCU, hands up. Like, look, I had to get me some goodies, period. 
Listen, look at that artwork. Look at look at little kids playing. Yes, y'all. It was kid friendly. If you didn't know, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Y yes, now you know. It was kid friendly. And like I said before, it was 100% free, y'all. It happens every year. Look at the food vendors. It was literally the best ever. And I look forward to going next year. Okay, love y'all. Bye. Mwah.